Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to create some frames for some pictures. So what I'm going to do first of all is duplicate this layer. So I'll just drag into the new layer icon or I can apply Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. And I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool. You may find it here. And I'm just going to get the selection like so. And then I'm just going to refine edge. Refine edge, it's just on the top. I just click it and uh, I'm just going to turn smart radius on and I'm going to bring the radius all the way up. And uh, while Photoshop thinks about what to do, yeah, it should be fine. I'll click OK. Well, you haven't seen nothing because it's still progressing as you can see but it's quite a large picture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a layer mask into that or I'm going to undo and I'm going to show you another thing another idea you can do it as well so you click refine edge smart radius all the way up and uh, the output to you click output to new layer with layer mask and click OK and once again Photoshop is working its magic and any moment now it's perfect so what I'm going to do now is put a layer just below the existing one so we can see what we've done so in this case I'm going to hold control and click on the new layer icon and I'm going to fill it with black I'm going to use the foreground color actually I'll use white I'll click OK and there you go we have a nice frame okay that's one, I, one trick let's do another one I'll come back like so I'm going in this case now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this layer there's many ways you can unlock you can drag the lock into the trash you can double click and then you click OK and get rid of it or if you click ALT on the lock just locks OK OK doesn't matter I just got confused now uh, OK then and I'm going to do is I'm going to get a layer underneath the existing one so once again control or command in the Mac and I can new layer I'm going to fill it with black what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the lasso tool and I'm just going to go like so you can experiment obviously I'm just doing like this so you get the idea there you go we've got a selection what I'll do is I'll control J so I get this effect now very simple I'll just hold alt and between the two layers in this case layer 0 and layer 2 the icon the cursor changes to an icon that's creating a clip mask so I'll just click and there you go we have a nice frame so I'll just change this color to white and we've got a different frame very original so I'll just take this away and I'm going to do another one okay once again I'm going to duplicate this layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my brush and I want to go into my presets and I'm going to find let's see this one here how it looks yeah doesn't look bad doesn't look bad so just grab any brush after you see this effect you can even create your own brushes what I'm going to do in here well I've clicked over here on the top so I launched the brush palette and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the spacing slightly remove dual brush scattering I'll take the scattering off 
I'm going back to space time to brush in tip shape and I'm going to uh, the spacing something like that should be fine and what I'm going to do is like this actually I'm going to make it slightly bigger so I'll just click outside the picture and roughly at the same level holding shift click again and then you can click again and then you can go on the sides the same thing so click once on the other side roughly same level holding shift and go back and hold shift again and go to the side like so holding shift and holding shift like so and there's a nice layer a nice um, frame effect and that's it for now I hope you li liked it see you next time bye for now